Okay, Lacey Range viewers, we're out here on this nice, beautiful 70 degree day. Uh, I'm out here with Andy Lumberg's uh, Finish M3943 with the Ajax scope on top of it. Uh, just so you know, uh, the video that you're about to watch, all the video that I normally shoot with me shooting it, I deleted it. I deleted it. I deleted it. That's all I can say. And uh, so I've got the shooting video with the gun. And uh, I guess really all I want to do is backtrack, cover what I, I said on that video that got deleted. Of course, we're shooting at the 600, Henry County Gun Club, 600-yard range. I'm using the PPU uh, Beard and Primed, non-corrosive, 182-grain bullets loaded just like this, packed up like this. Uh, got I've got Andy, and I want to thank Andy for the opportunity to shoot this gun and use it. And uh, as we'll show in some of the pictures, I have a 3943 uh, also, but I do not have the mount or the scope. So that's something I'm out searching for, and hopefully we'll find it one of these days. But this is really, really a, a top-notch setup. Uh, if Andy doesn't use it in a match... Uh, all I can say is this this gun will make you a winner. Uh, the very first uh, Vintage Sniper Championship, uh, World Championship that we did, John and I uh, had the opportunity to shoot it in. It was small enough back then. And I shot a uh, Finnish M39 SOV that I'd made up, won the championship with it. So these guns can shoot. This video will prove that to you. So watch it. Enjoy, and uh, just be aware that you're looking at less than 500 pieces. And also, I want to, if I can't remember in what set, section I did, <clears throat> but my buddy Rob, uh, Rob Ski on Vintage Rifle Shooters Club has a video on another M3943. So that's three of them that are floating around. And uh, definitely watch that video. Rob's a put me to shame in shooting and uh but he he runs it at his range out to 700 yards please go watch that and uh watch watch this video and uh hopefully from the in, the introduction there you'll see what we're really shooting so with that let's get on it let's see let's do some shooting all right let's range viewers here we are on the henry county 600 yard range we have the finish M3943 Ajax scope. The only particular type mount for it. Uh, this is Andy Lumberg. We want to thank him for the, uh, letting me shoot it, uh, even though he was scared too. But uh, yeah, we got it. And uh, hopefully, we don't blow it up today because that's what he's worried about. But uh, we'll, we'll shoot it, see what it does. Now, I, I zeroed it with uh, my. Uh, hand load which uh, today I'm shooting the uh, 182 grain PPU surplus ammo full metal jacket a little bit closer to what the the fins actually used in combat so uh, we know that the accuracy of this ammo is pretty good and uh, so we'll see how it does in the uh, the 43 here and with that, let's go ahead and go with it. We'll go at 100 and see where we're at. See if I need to make any adjustments based on uh, the differences in the ammo. See what I, I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna go with any bags today. Okay, it's always we're aiming at the uh, inverted triangle. And making sure I got my eye centered on this scope, but you can see I don't have a very good cheek weld, I have a chin weld. And the top of the post on this scope is fairly flat, unlike the German Ajax. Okay, looks like left and right is probably going to be fine. <clears throat> Let me shoot one more. That's a cold bore shot. And 
Same for here. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll drop it down. I tell you what, we'll move on out before we, we mess with anything. And we'll, we'll have this ready for Andy. Like I said, I don't know if we can talk him into shooting it in a match or, or, or not, but we'll see. Okay, from that last engagement, as you see, we're pretty high. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it on uh, essentially 100 meters. And we'll engage the two hunt. Once I hit the black, I can't see where I hit. Okay, there we have another high hit. So, let me shoot. Let me drop her down just a little bit. Let's go a little bit there, focus now. All right, y'all saw where that hit? Uh, look at still slightly above the uh, triangle. A joy to shoot, guys. It, <clears throat> this is a very expensive gun, but Just a tad bit more. Oh yeah, let's shoot another one. Looks pretty good right there. All right, let me stop recording, fix the uh, the ring on the turret here, and get it set for uh, 200, and then we'll move on out to 300, 400, 500, and 600. Hang tight. I don't, I don't think I said it, but uh, I want y'all to know that uh, Rob, my buddy Rob Ski has a uh, fantastic video out. It's not this same rifle, but another one of the 500 that are out there somewhere. But he has an excellent video on uh, Vintage Rifle Shooters Club. So make sure you go watch that. Alright, 300. Set the uh, dial for our zero at 200. I'm going up to 300 meters. Are we ready? Let's go. Ok, 
it looks like it's off the right side of the triangle. I got I'm getting bad about jerking this trigger. I can feel myself doing it. Now guys, that, that's me pulling it to the right. Still got a good group, despite what I'm doing. Looks pretty good. Andy Lumber, if you don't shoot this in a match, Joe's going to be unhappy with you. Alright guys, oh, we're moving out to 400. I really, really need to get comfortable. And I'm just not comfortable. I don't know what it is. But, looks like it's not the gun. Why with the most and the gaunts, uh, I really like putting my left hand forward, uh, and it's because you got a crane so much to get your get your head up. All right, let's do it. Four hundred. All right, looked like that was over the top. Okay, I've got the, the uh, on 450. Let me drop it down to 350 and let's see, see what it does. That looks like it's going to work. 3.5. And, and guys, this is nothing unusual. You know, we're not shooting the same rounds that the fan did, the fans did, and uh, you're going to have uh, a little bit of variation going on the dials. Uh, and and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm probably going to come back to 100 and see where it actually hits, because there is a huge gap between one and two, and it sort of blows my mind that there'd be that much trajectory difference in the uh, 7.62 by 54. Okay, now we need to go to uh, 500. Okay, 500. All right, 350 worked. Let's see if 450 works. Looks like it's right there by the triangle. So we'll call that and good. <clears throat> you know what? I think that 600 is laughing at me. You know, my mule don't like people laughing at Get it on 550, 600.
too high. Okay, I did not see the impact on that one. Alright, like I said, guys, I, I am not as um, as I need to be for the day. Alright, I might have to watch the film, see where I'm going, and uh, see if we can dog it in. The gun needs to cool anyway, so give us a few minutes, we'll be right back. Okay, ladies and range viewers, I have reviewed the tape, and I'm going to try it on five. We, we were definitely coming in high, maybe slightly to the right. There's a tag. I can't see where I hit it. I just know from the sound. So I'm gonna stay with the same point of aim. And that was a miss. I wonder. My gut feeling is it's coming in on a low wind. I do not have a spotter today, unfortunately. Try to get John Brewer to come out of here. I felt like a good trigger pull. I'm gonna shoot one more. Okay, there's three hits on the 600. Well, yep, as y'all know, I've got got one of these without the um, the scope mount and the uh, the scope. I've got the base on mine. I've got to come up with something because this is a fine shooting gun, guys. It really is. Uh, Very rare gun, very rare. Uh, we're fortunate here to have two of them sitting in the same county. But uh, it is a fine shooting gun. And you take somebody like Andy Lumber, who is a, a really good natural shot, uh, and if he's to work out with this just a little bit, he'd be hard to beat. So, with that, we're going to go at uh, 600, mark it down as a Five. And I'll have to uh, look look at the, actually at the target to see where we actually hit at. But uh, guys, thanks for watching and uh, staying by.